a phrase from the Concertino by David. Natural slurs are an important part of a trombone player's repertoire of musical tools. When I played that phrase just now, I utilized natural slurs. Natural slurs occur when two adjoining notes are in different partials. And when that happens, we go over the break, or some people say against the grain. It's basically a lip slur. Sometimes your slide moves. In this case, the first three notes, it's, it is a lip slur. My slide isn't moving at all. So the notes are D, F, and then high B flat. All of those notes are in first position, but they're all in different partials, which means if I have a slur, which I do in this case, it's not necessary for me to use my tongue. The nice thing about natural slurs is they encourage you to move your air properly, because if you don't, the notes won't come out. So you get a, a nice technical incentive that creates a beautiful musical phrase. I'd like to demonstrate playing the same phrase with my tongue, because there are some schools of thought that say you should tongue every single note no matter what, and this is what that could sound like. sound bad actually I don't mind that sound too much but there is a little bit of a finesse and subtlety that I feel is missing and when I take my tongue out of the picture I feel like I have fewer vertical lines in my music making and also my playing sounds more vocal like as though you were singing here it is again with the natural slurs Now, if you're not sure if you have natural slurs in your music, then just try playing it with no tongue. <laughs> and if you hear a smear, then obviously you'll have to tongue between those notes. But if you don't hear a smear, and you kind of feel like the air has to move over a break or get over a hump, then you most likely have a natural slur. And I would utilize that. I would use natural slurs wherever you can in your music. Um,